Hello, my name is Dave Camwell, and we are going to talk about the 2024 Alabama Allstate Lyrical Etude, which is the first of the Fairling Etudes in C major, and uh, it's quite slow and beautiful. And one of the first things I would recommend is that you work on vibrato. That's a really great tool we have to add more expressive qualities to our sound, really help the phrasing. And so uh, there is a video all about vibrato if you go to my website davecamwell.com uh, and click on articles if you're on your phone it'll be at the bottom if you're on your computer it'll be on the top right and you'll see it so lots of good information there a good resource uh, to start working on vibrato and adding that to your playing I would also say that it's quite important for most of this etude to practice it perform it uh, in time uh, you definitely want to have sort of an eighth note subdivision going on, making sure that you're not rushing and that you're being even in all of those things. The one exception to this, of course, is right on that bottom line where it says ad lib or ad libitum, which means at your pleasure. And so what musically would be best to do in a sort of cadential moment like that uh, is to definitely use that opportunity, that musical op opportunity of which it, the uh, Fairling has created for you and have some excel, have some decel, have some, some interesting things uh, musically that happen that we don't really have the opportunity to do in the rest of the piece because we're expected to play in time. So take advantage of that, try some different variations of it. I think you'll hear lots of recordings online and there's there's no one right way to do it. So I think um, one of the best things you can do is listen to two, three, four, listen to 10 uh, versions uh, of this etude and zoom to the end and see how, how all these different people handle the musical elements uh, of a cadenza. And again, we're looking a lot for sort of excel, decel, all these things, push and pull uh, that make it interesting. So take advantage of that. The last thing I will suggest is really make sure that you support with your air for those low Bs and also the low C right at the end. Uh, you also want to have an equipment that helps you and by equipment I really mean the reed and the mouthpiece as well as the ligature as well, making sure that you can get that warm rich classical sound that we're going for but also has enough projection and then with your air you really want to have kind of some fast cold air which really supports against the resistance that when you play saxophone and you put all those keys down so you've got that low B or low B flat, um, there is resistance there so you want that air to, f to push back against that so the note speaks nicely. And of course you'll need your saxophone in good playing condition otherwise it's already a, a, a challenging thing to do makes it really hard so make sure your saxophone is in good shape best of luck on your audition for the 2024 alabama allstate